Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's me, Yosef with Have a Farm. I'm here with my boy, Ovadia. You want to smile for the camera? <laughs> <laughs> We're hanging out here today, and I'm uh, looking forward to spending a few minutes with you and talking about an update on the farm. Uh, it's our weekly update, and I want to talk about the last week of CSA for the spring, the beginning CSA for the summer, uh, a couple um, important things, events, uh, things on the calendar. And, uh, yeah, so let's go. So it's, um, it's the last week of spring. We've had an absolutely fantastic spring. Uh, it's, the weather's been awful. It's been, it's been one of the worst springs, uh, weather-wise that we've ever had. The weather has been absolutely horrendous. Um, but, you know, the crops have been awesome. I mean, we've had a really great season. Uh, we've had lots of, uh, lettuce and kale, turnips, radishes. We've even had carrots and beets. Um, and there, for sure, for sure, there's nobody around here having those, uh, this time of year. And so it's been a really great, uh, uh, winter and great spring. And so the spring's coming to an end. Um, but that doesn't, um, mean that all the fun's over because, uh, next week, the first week of June is the first week of the summer season and, uh, the summer season is uh, looking to be awesome. We've got tons of food ready to go. It's all planted and you can see behind me how, how nice and full our houses are. So every house looks like this. We are, as of right now, we are 100% planted. You know, and that ebbs and flows throughout the year, but right now we're 100% planted and I'm super excited uh, for the season. Uh, we're a little bit behind, but you know, that's just weather wise. So what we've done is We've just looked at the weather and said, okay, you know what? Look, the weather's not right to plant tomatoes or to plant squash or whatever. Um, but you know what? We're going to roll with it and we're going to make changes and we're going to keep on, keep on farming until that weather uh, turns around. And it still hasn't really turned around, but we see some progress. We have finally gotten the tomatoes in. The tomatoes got in uh, over the weekend. And um, we have the peppers coming up. They're going to be going in here. Uh, maybe next week and same thing with eggplant of course we got all of the onions done already and then uh, next week or the week after we're gonna be doing all of the uh, all the squash and uh, we're wicked late on the cucumbers but hey it is what it is um, everything else is looking fantastic the the amount of variety and the bulk is going to be uh, fantastic for at least the first seven weeks of summer so we are well prepared and uh, things are looking great i'm super excited about the summer csa yeah we might not have tomatoes as early as we'd like and we might not have cucumbers as early, early as we'd like but we're gonna have loads of everything else and you know sometimes there are things just out of our out of our control and this winter or this spring rather was one of those springs it's just been cold and yucky and it's been a very difficult uh season to grow in but We've done it, and we're looking forward to moving on for a really great summer uh, season. So that's that starts next week. Now, with that in mind, Monday is our preseason meeting for the summer season. So our preseason meeting is an important meeting for all new members especially, and returning members. It's a good reminder. It's very important that um, if you, especially if you've never been a part of a CSA before, that you join that preseason meeting so that you can understand what you signed up for, <laughs> what to expect, and, um, and really to have the best experience possible. So if you are a member who is not gonna be involved and you just wanna pick up your food and go, um, the likelihood of you getting the full experience and um, enjoying the, the program is um, you know, it's, it's definitely less likely. So, you know, getting involved, that's why we have all the classes. We have the farmer's market, we have the events, we have uh, the tours and we have all we, the preseason meeting and we, we make sure that we uh, over communicate. <clears throat> um, uh, and, and, you know, being part of that preseason meeting is important. So if you want to get the most out of your, your CSA uh, membership, then I highly recommend that you take the opportunity to come to the preseason meeting uh, or at least watch it before the, fir before the first uh, CSA. So the preseason meeting is Monday, it's at 6 p.m., it's online, it's virtual, 
Uh, it's, uh, it's about an hour long. I hope not to make it that long, but it's a summer one, so it's gonna be a bigger one uh, than, than, than the rest. So if you can make it for that, that would be awesome. If you can't make it for the live, then we'll send out an email. But check your emails on Monday, because Monday you're gonna have all the season details. And uh, that's a really long document with lots of information in it. And uh, I'll be putting that together over the weekend. And that'll have all the information for the season details in it. So check that out on Monday. Uh, and then that's the document we'll be going through with the preseason meeting. So go ahead and uh, take, a, take a look at it before the meeting. And then we'll, uh, we'll go through it. We're not going to hit all aspects of it. So, you know, there's some articles in there and uh, our pledge and certain things like that that we're not going to cover in the meeting. But they're really good for you to know and for you to read and for you to understand what we do, who we are and uh, what to expect. All right, so let's see here. Okay, let's get to some other announcements, shall we? Um, this week, uh, there is no farmer's market and the farm is closed on Friday. And the reason that is, is because we have a holiday. We have Shavuot and uh, a lot of Christians would know that as Pentecost. Um, but it's a very important holiday in uh, Judaism. It's uh, it's the day that the Torah was given on Mount Sinai, and so it's a uh, it's a pretty big holiday for us. And so we are closing the farm down for that, so we can celebrate. And that means no farmers market on Friday, and uh, uh, all of the drops, all of the CSAs uh, are on Thursday. Of course, everybody knows that because we've already sent out five emails and uh, made Facebook posts, and and uh, we've place the uh, flyers on the bags so everybody should be aware of the change in schedule uh, and I hope you're looking forward to that and um, uh, yeah I guess that's that's about all I've got to, got to say about that so don't come to the farm don't go to your drop if your drop is this Friday don't do it it's uh the farm's closed and uh, make sure you pick up your food on Thursday if for some reason you can't get your food on Thursday let us know we'll work with you and uh, yeah, I know most of you have already done that. All right, what else? Okay, two more cool announcements. One is really, really super duper important. No, they're both super duper important. What am I talking about? Um, the summer farmer's market. Of course, we don't have a farmer's market, like I said, this week. But starting next week, the first week of June, that's when the farmer's market really kicks off for the year. That's our summer's market, summer market, and we're, it's gonna be out here with, uh, with our magic school bus there, and, and we're gonna have a big bounce house, and we're gonna have tons of vendors and food and, and games, and we're gonna have activities and classes and tours and events. Tons of stuff is going to happen for the next 18 weeks of the CSA season. We're gonna make sure that we have plenty of events, plenty of things going on, plenty of ways for you to interact and get, get involved in the community. So uh, keep an eye out on our calendar. It is loaded and it's gonna be an awesome year. Please come out for our, our farmer's market. The farmer's market. I am rambling, I'm so sorry guys. The farmer's market, again, not this week, but starting next week, is going to be every Friday from 9 to 12. From 9 to 12 every Friday here at the farm, 7545 Log Road. I hope you come down, support the local community, support the local vendors. Come say hi to our family. Come say hi to our kids. Come say hi to Lauren and visit the nursery. And uh, support all the local vendors, the, the local beef and, and pa pastured uh, chicken and, and all the... It, it's a uh, really great stuff. There's a lot. We have everything. We have raw milk. We have uh, sourdough lingerie. Their bread, and we have baked goods, and we have uh, crafts. It's a whole bunch of stuff. It's a great farmers market. It's really great. And uh, of course, we have the vegetables. And uh, so, we'll be there. So you come get our vegetables. Uh, it's a great time. Anyway, so that's going to be every Friday from nine to twelve. I really hope that you guys make it out. Bring a friend. Bring your family members. It's going to be awesome. Okay. So put that on the calendar and don't miss it. Uh, now the next thing that's really important is, of course, something you need to put on the calendar, which is our summer fest. So summer fest. For those of you that have come out for that before, you know it is an awesome time. Last 
uh, fall we had the the last fest and that was we had over 1200 people here we have the bonfire we have the marshmallows we have the food trucks we have all the vendors we have the live music we have the bounce houses we have the games we have the activities we have the Clydesdale horses doing the doing their uh their um what do you call that hay rides we got the 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 goats coming out and all the animals and just so much stuff going on it's a fundraiser and it's all about raising money for aci raising money for families in need and it's free for all vendors all vendors come out it's free the only thing that they do is they donate uh i think it's 15 percent of their sales maybe it's 10 percent of their sales. maybe it's five percent i don't remember what it is um but check with check with us contact us let us know that you're interested in in being um being a part of that event so that's gonna be an awesome time. So put it on your calendar. That is uh, July second, and oh, you're gonna have to forgive me. I think it's from. Oh boy, I think it's five to eight, five to nine, four to eight, four to nine. I'm not sure. It's on the website. I'm horrible. I should have had that information before this video, but I didn't. Anyway, guys, um, that's all I have for you for now. Uh, for those of you that is, have been with us for the spring, thank you so much. We're so grateful that for your support. Um, all of our team members, all of our employees, uh, all of our family member, uh, we love you and we are, are super duper grateful for you. Uh, and then also those of you that are continuing with us or moving on into the summer, um, you know, we look forward to seeing you. And if we haven't met you, we look forward to meeting you and we hope that you get involved really. And I hope that you enjoy your season and I hope that we provide everything that we can possibly provide for you uh, above and beyond. Um, you know, just the, the value of the vegetables, right? So we want this to be an experience. We want to be part of your family, part of your community. And we want you to be part of our family and part of our community. So, all right, guys, uh, I've rambled on long enough. It's been 12 minutes, the longest video I've made in a while. Love you guys, grateful for you. And that's it. Thank you for an awesome spring. Let's have an awesome summer. All right, bye-bye.